we are off. I did Clarence Kennedy's 15 week weightlifting program so that you don't have to. Today we're gonna to go over what it is, obviously not exactly. If you wanna do that, you should just buy it. But roughly how it's structured, my thoughts, my progress, all that sort of things. But firstly, thank you to Robert Jackson for being uh, just a consistent commenter, another guy supporting the channel, I appreciate it. So, firstly, what is it? So, like I said, it's a 15 week program. Uh, it comes with three phases. You have a high volume phase, a strength phase, and a peaking phase. In the high volume phase, you do five days a week, and it's recommended as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So the first thing that you see is that he favors, and it's something that I sort of agree with, is trying to do some kind of snatch work and some kind of clean and jerk work every day. So an example from the high volume phase, day one, muscle snatch, behind the neck rack press, clean and jerks, back squats, weighted sit-ups. Day two, snatch high pull and snatch, hang power clean and jerk, snatch deadlift. Day three, power snatch and hang power snatch, power clean and jerk, pause front squat. So, this is something that he does in his own training. And like I say, I do agree with it. The Olympic lifts are skills. And you kind of want to practice them as much as you can get away with. There's obviously going to become a recovery threshold. And once you're at sort of three times a week for the snatch, you've got the majority of your gains. You know, once a week probably isn't enough. Twice a week is great. Three times a week is even better. Four times a week is just a little bit better. Five times a week is just a little bit better. But you might not recover. And all the elite athletes that you see doing it, one, they're elite, I just said it, and two, we all know there's other stuff going on. So, yeah, uh, something that is different from his style of training, if you're hoping to train like him, he has tried to tailor this to <laughs> real. So there are squats three, sometimes four days a week, uh, but it's not every single day. Like he swears by no five by fives all the time. <laughs> So the first thing that you'll notice if you do it is just an absurd amount of volume. He really favors high rep work in the start. I mean, day one, week one, clean plus four jerks. Day two, um, three hang power cleans, two jerks. Day three, two reps of power clean and two jerks. So there was a lot of split jerks and it was way more than I was used to. It was honestly probably a little bit too much, but it's a great way to get a lot of practice in. Um, he tends to do pretty traditional linear increases, but that's sort of a fault. Um, not a fault, it's more a feature of specific strict programs like this, whereby you can't have the interaction with a coach, so week one you do 70%, week two you do a little bit more. So, Moving on from that, it then moves into a strength phase. And the strength phase, honestly, is just an increase in specificity. Whereas phase one had muscle snatches, hang power cleans, all those sorts of things. Phase two, we have a Monday, is just snatch, power clean, jerk, front squat. Day two, power snatch, clean and jerk, snatch pull. Day three, snatch, hang snatch, power clean and jerk. Day four, power snatch plus snatch, power clean and clean and jerk. Day five, snatch and clean and jerk. Day six, Power snatch and snatch, power clean and clean and jerk. Highly specific, it's something he talked about doing with the, uh, when he was being trained by, I think it was Pavel Medic, one of the Polish coaches. So just a real bias towards hyper specificity. So when he calls it a strength phase, he kind of just means it's still a volume phase, but now you're doing a lot of the uh, classic Olympic lifts. So you either do snatches or powers. And this is something you see from a lot of systems. You know, the Romanians were huge on this. The Kazakhs are huge on this. Uh, the Polish team at the time that uh, Clarence trained under them were very into this. They still are, honestly. I'm not up to date with that. Um, I think it's a good way of doing it. You do need to get a lot of work in. Something that I don't personally like that he does is he likes to alternate between sort of snatch days and clean and jerk days. Uh, so what I mean by that is day one might be a full snatch and you push that harder and you just have power clean and jerks and they're a bit lighter. And then the next day you might do power snatches a bit lighter and you have your heavier clean and jerk work. Now this is similar, it's obviously different, but similar to, for example, Miso Hasona, he does 
snatch days, clean and jerk days, strength days, and you you actually see a similar thing from the Chinese as well. They don't often do snatches and clean and jerks in the same session. They just push one exercise hard. Whereas a system like the Romanians or the Kazakhs, they just had big days and little days, i.e. snatch is hard and the clean and jerk is hard. Obviously one might be slightly harder than the other. And then the interim days were much lower intensity, you know, 65%, 75% power variations. So personally, I don't love it. I, I much prefer to have big days and like recovery days. Obviously, if you're training, you're not recovering, you're applying more stimulus to yourself. But I just mean lower intensity days. Uh, something I did like and something I've pulled from in the past is his Thursday session. So he has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, big days. Thursday was a sort of light feeler day. So, for example, he would have power snatch plus snatch, three sets of one plus one at, I think this is about 70%. So quite nice and light. And then a similar thing with the power cleaner jerk. And interestingly, something that you don't see a lot, uh, light front squats leading into a heavy day, which, you know, you might not see as often, but uh, he seemed to favor. So then moving on to the final phase, we have the peaking phase. So this, it was three weeks long. And honestly, not that much changes from the strength phase. Snatch, power snatch, clean and jerk, power clean and jerk, back squat, front squat, snatch, clean and pull. That's about it. And even the set numbers are the same. Traditionally, it seems to quite like four to six sets for the most part. But now the reps have come down instead of being threes to twos, ones, that sort of thing. Uh, something that was kind of rough though is the amount of sets he went to squats. So, day one of the first week of the peaking phase, front squat, seven sets of two. Day three, back squat, seven sets of two. Uh, day six, my bad, seven sets of two. So it's just, it's just a lot of sets, obviously. Um, that maybe I wasn't used to, and they're all quite high intensity, but I suppose that's uh, maybe a bias of his, having uh, a lot of success coming from his squat and it's something that you see in a lot of systems even the bulgarians who might uh, see as favoring you know snatch and clean and jerk in reality they favored squats and even you hear uh, stefan notev talking about the bulgarian system he would have they said their first session of the day would be squat snatch clean and jerk squat and then go and rest snatch clean and jerk squat rest and then they do snatch all clean and jerk and squat so they're doing four no yeah four squats like four different squat kind of mini sessions whereas they only snatch potentially two or three times and they only clean a jerk the same two or three times so they actually favor the squat and not something i personally like i would rather be more efficient with your strength training and then bias and technical development so now let's talk about my experience with it how did it go so i was not in the best place to be doing this honestly i was slightly injured and have been for a long time but that's okay i found that the uh, high volume phase was excellent for building work capacity it's something that i've done in the past it's something that i will do again no doubt i think doing a lot of work in the small specific positions is really really valuable and it's something that a lot of people miss out on uh, like lighter weights you know sets of five on the snatch can be really valuable sometimes and it means that when you come to do five sets of three at a heavy weight your body's just well conditioned to be in those positions something i also liked was the high frequency or the exacerbated use of pause squats so in the early phases, the high volume phases, he would have things like five by five pause front squats, five by five pause back squats, slowly progressing those up in weight. They were really rough. And you will have seen some of the videos in here about them, but they were absolutely excellent at building up leg strength. and were just quite a nice change of pace, honestly. So now in terms of progress, did I make any PBs? Well, I made a lot of rep PBs on the squat specifically. It drove my squat up pretty well. In terms of the Olympic lifts, I think just unfortunately, I wasn't in the position to be pushing as hard as the program called for. 
I had a slightly injured shoulder that was getting pretty angry at me, and it just meant that I, you know, survived the work capacity phase well, but then when I got into the strength phase, I just started to see a bit of degradation as those weights were going up. And part of that is me, but part of that you can learn from. You know, this extreme amount of volume is excellent when you're in really good condition, when things don't hurt. You know, pushing a lot of volume is amazing for work capacity technique development. Just a bit of mental fortitude, stuff like that. But when you're just not in great shape and stuff's hurting, all that work really wears you down. So, all in all, I think you could do a lot worse than a program like this. So, if you want to give it a go, you know what? I will link it down below. Uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask them. 